a report by the Ghana Corporate Governance Program, an initiative of the International Financial Corporation, IFC, which is a member of the World Bank Group, suggests a positive relationship between gender diversity and firms' performance. The study, which surveyed 162 firms in Ghana, was done in partnership with the Swiss Secretariat for Economic Affairs, also known as SECO, and conducted by the University of Ghana Business School. Issues ranging from the nature of gender diversity in public and private sector boards in Ghana to examining the determinants of board diversity in Ghanaian organizations were highlighted. This is coming on the back of the International Women's Day celebration, which was marked throughout the world uh, over the weekend. Now, Joy Business's Philip Namfu joins me in the studio for more discussions on this. Um, all right, so give us an, as an overview of this report. Yeah, you. Um, thank you, Emmanuel. So, as part of International Women's Day, um, this report is um, approximately a year old. Uh, it came somewhere between 2008 and 2019. But I thought it was important given the contents of the report mm. as we mark International Women's Day. Uh, let me just do a brief overview. So we've been discussing corporate governance for a while. Part of the tenets of corporate governance is having a diversified board or a board of diversity. Mm. Now, if you come down to the diversity point of view, not only diversity in terms of skills, competencies, and um, efficiencies, but diversity in terms of men and women on boards. So the whole essence of this study is to look at um, the effect of diverse boards or boards with diversity. And by boards, I mean corporate boards. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about a board, the board of Multimeter Group Limited, the board of a bank, etc. When the boards are diverse, is there a positive impact on the firm's performance? And according to the study, it's yes. So this was a study for Ghana. Mm -hmm. But if you look at other international studies, it's been found that having women on boards, having women in management positions, bodes well for the forward movement of the firm. Right. That's, that, that's the uh, crux of the whole matter. And this one focused on Ghana. Okay, so b before you proceed, what do we exactly mean by a positive you know, relationship between gender diversity and performance? Okay, so um, I put together some uh, infographs based on the report. Mm. Uh, as we are discussing, we will okay. going through them also. But essentially what it means is that when a firm is a going concern, how, do a diverse, how does a diverse board impact on the performance? And performance, you can measure it with regards to return on assets, that's ROA. So how efficient is management using its resources to ensure that the firm is moving properly? Now, if you look at um, the structure in Ghana, let's, let's, let's come down to the Ghanaian level. Mm. If you look at businesses, all things being equal, based on anecdotal evidence, most of the firms are run by men. Culturally, we've been a bit behind in terms of giving women equality and equity in certain areas. Mm. So on, on the business space, you see that this is not... It's not a new thing. You can have a boardroom and almost practically everybody on the board is a male. You can have maybe one female, one, uh, one or two in terms of management. But if you look broadly, over time, history has taught us that the men are always dominating. I, I honestly thought the situation was uh, quite reverting or the status quo was reverting. Yes, that's what I said, over time. Oh, okay. But now we are having some positive impact. Yeah. So you so you realize that, yes, um, do women really help coming on board? Mm. Globally, yes. Africa, yes. And in Ghana, the answer is yes. And if you look at this uh, survey they put together, they surveyed 162 firms. And it covered diverse sectors of the economy, from mining to finance to everything. And one thing struck me in there, and it was the issue of a policy, gender policy in companies. Do companies have gender policies? On the national level, we may have um, the affirmative action, we may have the national uh, gender policy plan, etc. That was passed in, I think, 2015. But in terms of the company specific, what is our policy in terms but, of but Philip, gender? Philip, should, should we advocate you know, a policy uh, as to also having um, the competent women available to occupy such positions? Yes, and, 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 and I think I should have made that case at the mm. beginning of my submissions. It's not just having women for women's sake. Mm -hmm. And those who are competent, competent. And capable of yes. occupying. Yes, and the study has shown that if you have such on your boards, all things being equal, it bodes well for your firm performance. Over time, we've seen a lot of men, and mm -hmm. not to suggest that men are not also equally good, but when you bring diversity in terms of so many things happen, 
the orientation of a woman versus the orientation of a man mm. all feeds in into the firm's operation mm. and then moves on. But let me just quickly state this, and I'm quoting directly from the report. It says, even though the ideal is for organizations to have gender diversity, a majority, 77.85% of firms surveyed, did not have policies on gender. Only 5.7% of organizations had policies on gender, and 16.46% did not respond. That's out of the 162. Mm -hmm. So you realize that a preponderance of these firms don't have policies on gender. And I think uh, this discussion can be done in this short period. Mm, uh, of and, course. And yes. But it's just to give some idea that mm. if you look at the report, all things being equal. Okay. Now, so issue. what the report? What did the report point as a key indicator uh, of um, you know boards with more women than men? Um, when you say in terms of a key indicator, what exactly? exactly? You mentioned earlier the return on investment. What about profitability? What about other indicators? So, so it looked at it in mm. terms of the total firm performance, but it focused on the return on assets, which I explained earlier okay. on. Mm. So that was one of the key metrics they used. Mm. Other things came up in terms of um, the composition mm. across different sectors of the economy and stuff like that. But I think all in all, right. um, the crux of the matter is that a diverse board bodes well for the function of a firm. Other studies have shown that there is no correlation. Others also believe that the correlation is weak. But I think the proponents of studies have shown that it moves forward, all things being equal. All right. Thank you very much uh, for that update, Philip Manfuri, with that analysis on the latest report we brought to you. This